Ah, another fun-filled day in Bikini Bottom comes to a close. And it is time for SpongeBob to enjoy some much-needed rest. But wait one moment. It seems as though our little yellow friend I'm is ready. on his way I'm to ready. boating school. I'm ready. SpongeBob desires so badly to get his boating license, only to fail miserably each time. Alas, I cannot bear to watch another doomed attempt. Bah! Yet I sense something different here. Whoa! Yes! Oh, definitely! Impressive! These maneuvers are so advanced, I have never seen such a display of nautical prowess. Oh, it seems that his teacher agrees. She has even entered him into the esteemed Bikini Bottom 5000 race. Wait a moment, what are these disgusting things that have besieged the peaceful race way? Fear not, good citizens, for SpongeBob SquarePants, the most talented boater in the world, can handle this. to put the pedal to the metal and make tracks. Evil is afoot, and it's up to me to stop it. To get the old reef rover going, I need to move the cursor to a spot I want to drive to, and then click the left mouse button. Awesome! This baby sure has some quick pickup, but I bet it'll really get going if I hold down the left mouse button and guide the cursor where I want to drive. Wow! The tread on those tires sure doesn't look too friendly. I should give them a taste of the Reef Rover's Bubble Blaster. I need to place the cursor over those guys and have it change to a target. Once the target is on top of them, the left mouse button and... Whammo! Santo Justice! <laughs> I guess that's what they mean when they say burn rubber. But I better keep my eyes open for more of them. Evildoers always carry a spare, or at least a donut. Oh no! These hazards must be set up all over the track. I'm gonna need an extra burst of speed to smash my way through them. This is a racetrack though, so a spare bottle of nitro bubbles has to be around here somewhere. Aha! That arrow looks suspiciously like an arrow! I'll follow them down into the pit area to look for some. Hit the bridge! Mm, the bubble blaster won't have any effect on those guys. I would just steer clear of them, but I see that they're guarding a bottle of nitro bubbles. Getting around them without being noticed is going to push my driving skills to the limit. So I better activate safe driving mode by clicking the right mouse button. Okay, that was easy. Maybe a little too easy. Now I just have to make sure to keep the Reef Rover's outline from touching theirs. Their outline, I mean. Back. Hooray for super high octane nitro bubbles! Give me an S! Give me a U! That'll take too long. This stuff is sure to blast me right through those barricades. All I have to do to use it is drag and drop it onto the barricade using the left mouse button. I have to be sure to hold down the button after clicking on the bubbles while I move it over the barricade. Then I release them over the barricade to produce some smashing results. Yeah. <laughs> 
Anderson and crying over spilled oil. I bet I can clear this stuff with some seafoam spray. Better check the next pit area for some.
After single-handedly defeating the monstrous hordes at the Bikini Bottom Speedway, SpongeBob SquarePants was on him as both hero and champion. There was nothing, really! Excited by the prospect of free food and drinks, the masses quickly gathered for the celebration. But nobody noticed the oddly shaped forms filling the sky. Once thought to be mindless floating blobs of goo, the jellyfish had finally revealed their true nature. Tired of being chased and captured themselves, they had felt it was time to turn the tables for interstellar supremacy. Now, aboard the jelly ship, SpongeBob finds himself alone and outnumbered. When you're alone, it's easy to be outnumbered. Clear. 
Is any of this getting through here?
now I have to put the keys in the right places to open the door. After I drag and drop each key into the proper slot, the door will open and we'll be home free! Well, in theory, anyway. One must always account for the slight chance that this door could open up right into outer space and we could be sucked out into the great dark nothing of our doom! Much, my heart tell friend. And so it is finally come to this. Good against evil. Go ahead, make my day. For some of us, a good night's rest can be like a wonderful vacation. <laughs> Peaceful, relaxing, simple. But for others... <laughs> not so much. I, the dreaded Patrick, have assembled the forces of evil to finally destroy him and his pathetic little town. That pea-brained hero has foiled my plans for the last time! Oh no! What is Bikini Bottom to do in this hour of need? <laughs> there, under that rock! Is it a worm? No! Is it a sand crab? No! No! It is Starfish Man! So, the dreaded Patrick has decided to spread his evil across the land once again, eh? Well, not while Starfish Man is on the job! The citizens of Bikini Bottom need my help, so I better get a move on! I should use my super duper rear end propulsion flatulator by clicking the right mouse button. Door-to-door -door salesman! These foul charlatans always find a way to peddle their useless products into the homes of millions of unsuspecting homemakers! I can fend off their deceit with a few well-placed strikes of my tongue lash technique by clicking the left mouse button. The mouths of Bikini Bottom will be liberated from your methods of diabolical torture!
makes me angrier than the twisted agenda of a personal trainer. Release your prisoner at once, fiend! It's time to teach you what the phrase, no pay, no gain, really means! Safe. It's time to take my righteous duties up, up and away! Ha! So the dreaded Patrick plans to terrorize the city from the skies using demoralized circus clowns on jetpacks! This time he's gone too far! 
I should be able to send these goons back to the big top with a few clicks of the left mouse button. safe once more, but I must not let the dreaded Patrick escape this time! So, dreaded Patrick, your plans have been foiled again! Surrender! It was only then that Starfish Man had realized his mistake. Besides that atrocious color scheme of his costume, he had been tricked by the dreaded Patrick! His assault on Bikini Bottom was only a ruse to draw the hero out and lure him to this trap. <laughs> no, no, not my cape! Starfish Man's cape 
the source of his great power was now gone. Now, powerless, locked in a mysterious lair, Starfish Man must somehow find a way to survive. Not if I have anything to say about it. I'm trapped in this evil dungeon of... Evil! How could I have let that madman trick me like this? I need to find a way out of here. And fast! Oh no! It's the most annoyingly clingy creature in the world! A litworm! I have to find something! Anything to defend myself against this... 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 thing! Ha! Huh? Maybe this handy dandy vec will work! I can use it to suck up those things by clicking the left mouse button. Take that, you frizzy menace! a more resistant enemy than soap scum. Only the most penetrating detergents can break through their defenses. I'll need to find some before I can go any further. They can see me, so maybe I can sneak by them by clicking the right mouse button. Strength detergent. It's tough on even the most grimy build ups. I can load it into my handy dandy vac and use it to clean away those scummy baddies from before.
Stripped of your powers, you have found some way to overcome the perils of this place. Where are we? And why have you brought me here? Well, actually, um, this is your house. I had originally thought to set my own traps here, but when I saw how dangerously filthy this place was, there was no need. Being a superhero takes up a lot of time, you know. I don't get much of a chance to tidy the place up, really. And on top of that, my cleaning lady quit last month. So, you know. Silence, fool. Your pathetic little tool may have gotten you this far, but it will have no effect on me. No. I shall finish your meddling once and for all! And Gurney! Wrong again, evildoer! The handy-dandy vac comes equipped with a reverse suction mechanism for quick and easy waste removal! Prepare to eat filth! Um. the bogusly pink chaos of the battle before us, we can see our hero is once again triumphing over evil. Your villainous days are over, Dragon Patrick! After such a long, hard-fought battle, most superheroes would take the rest of the day off. But not Starfish Man! It seems that another long day of plotting world domination has caught up with Plankton. Poor little fellow. Little? I'll show you and everyone else who's little. Now, of course, I, I didn't mean... Activate the Enlargement Ionizer! <laughs> Ow! Uh-oh. This does not look good at all. <laughs> Go! <laughs> to destroy. 
destroyed, uh, I mean removed these rundown buildings, I can give them a whack by clicking the left mouse button over them. I think it's safe to say that this site is ready for renovations. I can also discharge my ultra dense ocular disintegration ray by clicking the right mouse button. That meant fire my laser beam, you simpletons! I'll have to be careful though, because my power has to recharge a while before I can use it again. So I better keep my eye on the red bar.
renovations of the rubble formerly known as Bikini Bottom well in hand, Plankton took a step back to marvel at his accomplishment. Perfect! <laughs> but, as luck would have it... Ah. After what seemed like ages of tumbling through brine-filled duck wash, Plankton found himself once again reduced to an insignificant piece of a much larger and complex puzzle. Doubt we all. However, even as he found himself lost and discouraged, he was not alone. He realized that with the proper Listen motivation up. and leadership and nutrition, these dim-witted souls could be the key to his salvation. Ah, who am I kidding? He's doomed. then give you a new task by clicking the left mouse button on it. If any of you takes too much damage, you will be knocked out for a little while, so be careful. There's no need to become even more useless than you already are. Being the spirited and glorious leader that I am, your spirits will be lifted and will regenerate simply by being grouped around me. <laughs> but enough of the instructions already. I can sense that your microscopic little minds cannot handle any more information. Let's just get going. We're doomed anyway. Another recruit for my merry band stands 
ready to surrender his skills for my escape. Surely there are more aimless souls like this that need my guidance. I must keep my eye out for them.
just a little further. Once we reach the mouth, we'll be home free. And now, after overcoming insurmountable odds, Plankton addresses his loyal followers. But it's not over yet, you weak-minded fools! To get this big mama to spit us out, we need to give her a little motivation. So, get to work and wreak as much havoc as you can in here! And that is just what they did. They stomped, kicked, and pounded on the whale's tongue as hard as they could. <laughs> but wait! A Krabby Patty recipe book! Great! WAIT! Will he finally retrieve the treasure he has so long for? <laughs> no, I guess not. <laughs> Pickles, yes. Mm -hmm. Lettuce, come on. Top bun, no kidding. Bottom bun, Gah! Secret sauce, here it is! <laughs> Alas, it was just not meant to be. I just can't catch a break. Ugh. Listen up, you idiots.